Hey guys, Andrew McCroom here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Michelle Beecroft, the teaching pro at the Melbourne Golf Academy in Victoria, where she's gonna teach us how to get more compression from our irons. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors, so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to get more compression from our irons. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Yo, Darren's told me to come and see you. He says, I need more compression. What is compression? Well, Bira, compression is the downward strike of the club face on the golf ball. So let's see you hit a ball and see if we can improve that today. Okay, so what I see there, Mira, is a, not a clean contact off the ground, mm -hmm. okay? So what I'd like to improve at setup, you set up with what we call a slight reverse pivot. So I'd like to improve your setup, and then we can work a little bit on changing that downward strike on the ball. Right, so, so what's this here? What I have here is an impact bag. So uh, to practice with an impact bag is all about improving spine angle and impact position with your spine at, at that position. So set up to the bag for me. Okay, just get, feel like you're just getting your shoulders to tilt a little bit back behind the bag, particularly so that you're looking into the back of the bag. And just make a backswing and a follow through into the bag and just feel how that setup actually turns you a little bit more behind the bag so that you can release the club in a downward movement down through the ball. Okay, so let's do that one more time and then we'll hit a ball. So just feel the turn back setup, turn back with the shoulders, hit into the bag. Okay, fantastic. All right, so let's step back and hit a ball. How does that feel? So I'll, I will repeat that action yep. for the hit. For the actual hit, absolutely. So setting up a little bit of spine angle with the shoulders behind the ball, okay? And then feel the turn back with the shoulders and hit down through that ball. Fantastic. Okay. That went a little bit further there, Mira. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we have so another one? Let's hit one more. Okay, so setting up to the ball. Once you're all set up, just feeling like you've got your shoulders slightly behind your hips like that. Okay, now make a nice smooth turn back with your shoulders so that your weight transfers and hit through the ball. Certainly feels more consistent. Yeah, it? fantastic. Yeah, so just to see you turning a little bit more behind the ball instead of reversing down into the ball will make a lot more space for you to be able to release the club and create some compression. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap and your game. So to access the Golf University Skill Assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also want to invite you to join the 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. And as a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes and documentaries. Plus you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel tours and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like me, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or you've even got an idea or a suggestion for another lesson, leave a like and a comment below, and I'll do my best with my coaches to answer them for you. And if you've got any other golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below as well. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon too, so I can notify you every time a new episode's released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.